and pi pi mu q. All right, online, uh, jom jam, beam, all right, gato, Nikki, ama, mena, present, all right, Brenda, present, nest, present, uh, kaupan, present, Okay, master. Sunshine, Sprite, Nanya. All right. So online we have only four. Okay. So maybe others will uh, join later. All right, leader. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, everybody, please turn on. All right, good morning, everyone. And uh -huh. okay, so last meeting we had discussed all about triangle. Okay, so that was only one topic. And uh, take note that the first, uh, the midterm today is quite easy topic. Okay, today we will have new topic and it will focus on parallel lines and angles. That will be chapter seven of your book and in your workbook, all right? Okay, so again, parallel lines and angles. Now, remember you have learned all about parallel lines before. During your uh, grade six and grade five, you have also parallel lines, all right? Okay, online students, can you see the screen? Online? Nest, can you see? Nest? Yes. That one, yes. can you see? Yes. All right. Okay, so Jom Jom is now here. Team. And Sprite. Okay. Okay, so as I have said, we will learn today all about parallel lines and angles. And we will have learned also that one before. Now to review, what is a parallel line? Hey, Mook, what is a parallel line? All right, so parallel lines are lines that do not meet and they are maintaining the same distance. All right, so you have learned that one before that parallel lines are lines that never meet. Why? Because their distance, oh, because their distance are equal all throughout. Okay, so that means 
if we uh, write it in symbol, we have this line symbol here. Line AB is parallel. Okay, so this is the symbol for parallel. Line AB is parallel to line CD. Okay. So you have learned that one. Anyway, this is just a review on your parallel line knowledge. Okay. Now, if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, what do we mean by a transversal? Transverse cross okay similar with crossover transverse cut all right transversal is that line that oh okay a transversal is a line or line segment or ray that intersects two or more lines at different distinct point all right so just like in this example here the transversal line is this line t so this one is the transversal line okay so from parallel lines the two lines form transversal line or line that cut and of course when a line cuts two lines or three lines or more, of course, it will also form angles, okay? So this is now in connection with what we are going to learn today. From parallel lines with the transversal and of course the angles form because of that transversal, okay? Remember that we are going to identify corresponding angles, alternate angles, and inferior angles that are formed because of a transversal of the two parallel lines. All right. Okay, now take a look on these examples on your screen. Remember that a transversal crosses, okay? So this one here is a transversal. This one is a transversal and also this one. But below, okay, on, only one. So this is not a transversal, all right? Here, it is not because it does not cross or intersect. Much more here because the line started from the same point. So therefore, it is not a transversal. Because again, a transversal process or cuts two or more lines. Okay. Going next. When parallel lines are cut by transversal, several types of pairs of angles are formed. They are named based on the angle positions relative to the parallel lines and the transversal. So this is now uh, corresponding angles, um, alternate angles and interior angles will come in, okay? And in a 100, uh, in a straight line or straight angle, how many degrees would that be, straight angle? What is the total or what is the angle form in a straight angle? How many degrees? Straight angle, right angle, 90 degrees. Straight angle is straight. How many degrees? Oh. All right, Jum Jam, straight angle, how many degrees? Online. Yes, Jum Jam, 180 degrees, all right. Take note, space angle that. is formed by two right angles. Okay, so the total is 180 degrees. Okay. 
All right. So remember that each parallel line intersects with the transversal to create four sets of angles. Okay. So the highlighted one on your screen is the first four. So that means that from the first line, line M transversed by line T. And the second line, line N transversed by the same transversal T. And there are sets of angles formed. All right. So the blue one circled there are the angles formed because of a transversal. All right. Now, the top set of angles, okay, are equal or the same with the second set of angles. All right. So why is it the same? Take a look that these are straight angles and the two are parallel. So therefore, when a transversal is formed, so of course, these angles, the placement of these angles would be equal to the placement of the second line. Since again, they are parallel lines. So if we if we try to analyze this angle here would be equal also to this angle because again we are just parallel and just being transversed by this line and of course the other set this one also is equal to the other one angle three here is equal also and angle four equal because again set one and set two of this angles form are equal to each other. Okay. All right. So what is then now corresponding angles? All right. Corresponding angles. Okay, please read. Actually, read what is a corresponding angle or what are. Lie. Okay. All right. So corresponding angles are angles lie in the same position. All right. Lie in the same position. So that means that if you try to look at this angle one. All right, here, angle one lie in the same position and corresponds to angle five. Okay, so if you try to look at uh, these angles, they are corresponding angle and we can identify that one in a form of letter F. Okay, it can be inverted letter F, all right, as long as it can form a letter F formation. Okay, try to look. Corresponding angle one and five. Now, if we are to figure this one out, this is like an inverted letter F. Okay, so this angle corresponds to this angle, letter F formation. In the same way, all right, here, we can have also letter F in here, this one. All right, so therefore, angle four is corresponding also to angle eight, following the letter F formation in corresponding angles. All right, so therefore, corresponding angles are equal angles. Okay, so that's the first type of angle that we are discussing, corresponding. And corresponding angles are again equal to each other. Okay. 
next okay try to look at that one two also corresponds to six okay try to look other corresponding angles following the letter f formation all right and again corresponding angles are equal all right another seven and three corresponding angles because they lie on the same transversal okay that one also the one that i discussed okay so what is the basis of that that we can say corresponding angles are equal all right take a look if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal corresponding angles are congruent now when we say congruent we mean that they are equal in angle and in size okay so by just looking at this by just looking at these figures we can actually tell that the angles correspond to the other and of course they are equal just like this purple one and purple here the green one letter f all right, inverted letter F, green one, green one. Inverted letter F, for four, four, four. All right, other letter F here, this one blue, it's a blue or a this one. Okay, and letter F here, red one and red one. Okay, so these are all sets of corresponding angles. And again, they are equal. All right. Okay, so if we write the congruency, then angle one equals angle five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I said that if they are congruent, then of course they are equal. One, five, two, six. All right, three, angle three and seven and we have also angle four this one and angle eight so they are congruent and therefore equal to each other okay all right now by identifying those corresponding angles, we can also find the missing angle or find the equivalent angle to this. Okay? So again, that angle is equal to the other side. So what is then X? All right? So 2x, the first angle here, 2x plus 100, we said corresponds to 5x plus 55. So therefore, we can set our equation as 2x plus 100 equals 5x plus 55. Okay? And from here, we can now be able to solve our angles or the x so therefore we have here set up the ratio and the equation 45 equals 3x 2x transpose to the left is negative 2x so that is why we have 3x 55 transpose to the left we get 100 minus 55 so that is why it is 45 and to simplify further, divide it by three so that we can cancel out and divide it by three also. So that is why we get X equals 15. So that means that based on that, we can be able to solve also missing angles.
Okay. Next. Okay. Next. All right. So 5x plus 55 equals filling up our x five times the x, which is 15 plus 55 equals 130. Okay, again, if our x is 15, then substitute with this and we get 130. All right. If that is 130 degrees, then therefore, the corresponding angle also is 130 degrees. Okay? All right. So again, if this angle is 130, therefore, this angle also is 130. Right? And since this is 130, how many degrees is this one? If this is 130, how many degrees is this one? One. Remember, this is a straight line. So if this is 130, how many degrees is this one? All right, that will be 50 because the total for a straight line is 180, right? So if this is 130, this is 50. Because this straight line is 150 degrees, right? Okay. Okay. When parallel lines are cut by a transversal, eight angles are formed. Okay. <laughs> Remember, the angles can also be interior or exterior. Interior means inside. Exterior means outside. So therefore, by just looking at it, these angles 3, 4, 5, and 6 are interior angles. And of course, the outside from the two parallel lines are exterior angles, okay? So that's just very, very easy to identify, all right? This is exterior, this exterior, and the inside angles here are interior angles, okay? So remember, exterior and in interior angles in a parallel line, all right? Okay. So if we will take it one by one, all right, remember exterior and interior angles, okay? All right. Okay, so try to look at here. Inside, interior. Again, here is interior. And of course, outside is exterior angle. Okay, so here are exterior angles. All right. So it will be easier for you to identify. Okay. All right, try to look at it, the exterior and the interior angles. Okay. What is then an alternate angle? Yeah. All right, Tata, please read the transversal. Yes, the transversal P cuts the plane. Read, read. Okay. 
All right, C, would like, uh, please read the transversal T. That's the plane. Or alternate sides of the transversal. Now, we have learned corresponding and now we will identify alternate angle. Okay. All right. Now, when we say alternate, they are opposite. Now, take a look of this angle three and angle six. They are opposite inside. So, they are what we call as alternate angle. Now, take a look of that one. Alternate angle can be identified in a letter Z formation, Z. All right, we can identify by this letter Z formation for alternate angle. All right, take a look on that one. We have this angle three forming letter Z. Okay, so therefore, this angle is the alternate angle of this one, following the letter Z formation. Okay, or we can have also inverted letter Z. Mm -hmm. So this inverted letter Z here, so four is the alternate angle of this five also in a letter Z formation, inverted, okay? So again, we have now corresponding and we have this alternate angle. Corresponding angle, letter F formation or inverted letter F. And we have four alternate angles, letter Z formation. In this case, we have here letter Z. Therefore, this angle, this angle, or letter Z. So this angle, this angle are alternate angles. And alternate angles are equal. Okay? All right. Yes. Okay. All right. So opposite all alternate angles. Remember the letter Z formation to identify alternate angle. Letter Z. Z. All right. So this one and this one or inverted letter Z here. So this angle and this angle are alternate angles, right? Okay. Okay, so we have now learned parallel lines, including corresponding angles, alternate angles, and also interior and exterior angles. Again, we can identify that one, all right? The interior angles, the angle inside, all right? Okay, here. Interior angle is the angle inside, forming letter C formation. Again, forming letter C formation. Okay, corresponding angle, 
alternate angle and interior angle inside for the letter C. So in this example here, this is the interior angle forming letter C. And again, it will add up a total of 180 degrees. Okay. Here is also another interior angle, letter C, by formation. Okay. Now, let us now go to your task and we try to identify the angles, the transversals. Oh. Okay. So please open your workbook to page 81. All right, everybody, take out your workbook and open to page 81. All right, online students, take out your workbook and open to page 81. Write the date of today. All right, on site. All right, again, please write now. All right, online we have seven minutes. Okay, so again, online, take out your workbook now. We will answer page 81 to 83. Okay. All right, on side. Okay, number one, letter A. Name the transversal in each of the following diagram. All right, letter A, what is the transversal, Tata? Letter A, what is the transversal? That is line. Transversal again, line. Move. Letter A, number one. What is the transversal of that? That is line A, B. All right. Letter B, what is the transversal? Achi. 
What is the transversal letter B? Mm -hmm. What are the transversal for letter B? The, huh? Ah, look at the diagram. The transversal R line R S and the other one is line PQ. All right. Number two, online we have four minutes left. All right, so make it a little bit faster. Number two, letter A, name the corresponding angle of M in each of the following diagram. M. Following letter F formation. So letter A corresponding to M is C. All right, that's correct. Letter C. Next, letter B. Corresponding angle of M is letter A. All right, correct. Following the letter F inverted formation. Number three. Online, you have three minutes more. All right, letter A. Name the alternate angle of P. Remember, alternate is forming letter Z, Z. All right. Corresponding uh, alternate angle of P. All right. What is the alternate angle of P? Huh? Again, Z and there are two. X, all right. So X and Z. Letter B, alternate angle of P. B, all right, so B. Okay, online you have one minute more. Okay, number four. Name a pair of interior angles in each of the following diagram. Pair of interior angles. Letter A. Okay. Interior angles. Letter A. Angle. D and 